Hello, Ryan here, and welcome to another episode of Try Try My Darling. And today we're going to be taking a look at Room in the Night Sky, uh, which is a pretty incredible uh, title for a video game. And the reason why uh, I, I wanted to download and play this game today is that there was just a Kotaku story by uh, Chris Kohler and he mentioned that the game uh, is getting a new translation soon. And if you haven't seen any of the screenshots floating around or anything, um, this game has a pretty interesting original translation, uh, which we're going to be looking at today because the new translation is coming in April, um, but hey, it's uh, it's still March. So um, I bought the game on the Japanese Switch eShop, and I'm going to play it here in with my uh, North American account. Are you, are you the first time to play this game? Shall I explain the game if necessary? Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. A is, uh, is not confirm. A is cancel. That's interesting. So B is confirm. Ah, you can change it here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's definitely change that, and let's get to miles per hour. I like this music a lot. This is great. So, this, uh, just this title screen, it uh, makes me think of something that could be on Dreamcast, uh, which makes me very happy. Um... Night Sky of the Lovely. Okay, sounds good. Oh wow. I think, a, I think a lime green Vespa would be cool. Oh my god, I'm really excited to play this. Oh wow! This is a video game. I don't know. I don't know how to how to get going. Oh. Oh, looks like holding B. Um, it's an accelerate. The the rumble's actually really good right now. Um, I'm using the pro controller and I'm really really feeling it. Um, that HD rumble. Wow. This is this is exciting. <laughs> Wood only. Because it's forest here, it is ordinary. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I don't know where to go. Oh, there we are. Man, he's, uh... like obviously, um, you can probably look at this and say these uh, these visuals are not good. Um, I think would be a common first response, but I actually think it, they're really charming. Um, I like these sort of these, uh, weird polygonal trees. Again, uh, my eyes are itchy. Um, yeah, it reminds me just a lot of, like, a Dreamcast game. Um, what was the cotton game on Dreamcast? Um, the Rainbow Cotton, like, Panorama Cotton 2, I guess? Uh, that's kind of what 
I imagine, um, I've never played that game, but this is kind of what I imagine that game to, um, look like, I think. Where is here? Let's calm down. Um, to get a, had to get a screenshot of that. Um, is this where I'm supposed to be going? No? No? Let's aim for the magic gate. After that, yeah. Oh, I just got a bunch of star bucks. Star dollars. Stardust bucks. So do I roll up on this? No. Get this. this is like capture city. Um, maybe if I go through portal here. Is that the magic gate? Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. It's a good run. your heart. Sticking, sticking with my lime Vespa. Uh, don't really have a choice. Um, all right. My butt hurts. Oh my god, I can not stop taking captures of this game. It is too good. It's kind of crazy though, once this gets patched, like, this version of the game just, like, won't exist anymore. Um, I mean, it would be great if, like, you could go in the options uh, <laughs> menu and, you know, select between original translation and new translation, but it's probably not how it's gonna go down here. Um, This is, like, really slow. <laughs> um, am I, like, I don't know if I'm just... If there's another button I should be doing for, like, maximum overdrive, or if this is just... Oh. Okay. Oh, is that, like, my enemy? Chan. This is so slow. Um. <laughs> but I think uh, the the banter um, you know, keeps keeps it exciting. Here's my magic gate. I'm not even. I'm not really going for the stardust. Maybe I should. I'll swoop down here and grab some of them. It seems like a or to go around and pick up all of them now. Um, maybe I'll feel differently. I should check out the shop or whatever in the game, because I'll hopefully be able to either speed up my bike or get a new one. Wow. Language. Go ahead and shop here. 
right, let's exchange Stardust and Motorcycle here. Uh, that sounds great. <laughs> Bide. Wow. Um, one's a little faster. This one's an improvement. I'm gonna go with this one, the Magical 90. Yeah, so that's a, that's Bide. Um, back to the stage select, I guess. Night Sky of the Strange Town. Oh, I'm gonna use my new Magical 90. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, this is a lot, uh, this is a lot, um, faster and more agile. <laughs> what are you even talking about? I love it. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, whoa, whoa. Tokyo Drift. Uh-oh. <laughs> this game is truly wonderful. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, I keep like getting into it. Like, I'm just playing it. Like, you know, it's a, it's a video game. You're flying around, flying through rings and everything. But then I'm like, wait, no, you're you're like a, a magic girl with like a fairy friend and you're on a motorcycle that flies and I and I have no idea what anyone's talking about. And it's all just very good. Like this is what video games are all about. down here, get these. I'm already thinking about my next bike upgrade. Hmm. Not ready to go back to the shop quite yet though. Another state of a noisy factory all the time. aviation here. Um, yeah, um, the visuals almost uh, remind me of like uh, Katamari Damacy. Uh, just like the blocky, um, you know, 
versions of real life things, but um, that game was uh, also quirky, but a little bit more polished than this for sure. Um, I could go for a new Katamari game. Be a great. I think it'll be a great fit on Switch. I don't know if that series is still active. I think the last game was the Vita one. And I don't think people really cared for it. My butt hurts. It's a, it's a classic line. Oh my god. <laughs> is that a gym? It is an airplane hanger. Wow. Oh wow. I just did a, just a sweet, sweet trick. Maybe I should have watched that tutorial. Can I do that again? This is, this is not uh, Dave Mira. This is not Dave Mira, nor is it Matt Hoffman. It's pro BMX. I mentioned on another stream I did uh, recently that we need more um, BMX games, and I stand by that. Even today, playing Room in the Night Sky. Is this... I wonder if this is really all the levels there are. Sky of the Ocean. There's all sorts of night skies to vroom in. There's, there might be something else I'm supposed to be doing in this game, um, but you know, since I missed that tutorial, I am just, uh, I'm just straight up flying through these, uh, these stars here, and uh, hoping for the best. Like, is there a competitive aspect? You know, there's that other, um, that other magical bicycle girl, um, but I don't know if we're actually, like, competing or we can, I don't think we can attack each other or anything. Um, I kind of don't know what's going on in this game, I'm gonna be honest, I don't... You know, I'm just uh, trying to do my best and fly through as many circle star things as I can. Oh, that was just okay. So magical turning, like some drifting. I didn't even like really notice that. Maybe I've been doing that before, but let's get me some uh, sweet uh, bonus stardust. Okay. There we go. Alright. It's like doing a manual in Tony Hawk. Look at that, I'm just like adding on to my chain here. Um, wow. Yeah, here we go. All of it. It's happening. Okay. Getting a little hard to aim here, but... I like how my fairy companion is like explaining boats to this this magical girl. <laughs> that looks awesome. Love it. 
I wonder what the ending is gonna be like for this game. I hope I finish it. Um, like, I sort of hope that it's only like the, that handful of levels we saw so that like, I can actually see the end. Uh, so I can't see, I can't see myself putting uh, like 30 or 40 hours into this game. I don't know. Uh, maybe someone will though. Like the, like the Bubsy 3D guy who put like 500 hours into Bubsy 3D. So, oh wow, that's a, that guy's a hero. I just took a screenshot of that because I had no idea what they were talking about. I think it's funny. Um, magical bike. Uh, that's so good. Service. I should have, I should have shopped. Oh, moved to shop, I can do it right here. That's convenient. Okay, so... I cannot go forward from here anymore. And I don't really have any indication as to why I cannot. Um, do I need to buy the stage in the shop? No, these are just motorbikes in here. Oh! <laughs> A lot of magical gasoline, <laughs> so be careful. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so there's some, uh... Magical train, oh my god. In Night Sky of the Ocean, let's break the Stardust Collection record of the other magical girls. 100,000. And then I get Magical Train. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Night Sky of the Ocean. I wanna try that. I want a Magical Train. I, I can't seem to progress any further here anyways, so... I uh, might as well revisit this and go for that magical train. So I really need to focus on getting the the stardust here. Do a lot of magical turning. There's gonna need to be a lot of that. Let's take a magical shower! How about a magical sound shower? That sounds good. So I need to, um, you know, I'm going to be kind of grinding for Stardust here, but I also need to keep an eye on my fuel, um, 
up there because I'm at 98 points. So I'm still pretty good, 97 points. Um, but I don't want to run out of time. Or, I mean, fuel, I guess, is essentially time here. Um, because then I don't think it, I'll get my magical train. Very important to me that I get That's why I am magically training. Ooh, I really, oh, I'm a magical failure. I really didn't want to do that. Okay, I that was some really good conversation happening there. I did not have a screen capture. But I mean, I guess I'm capturing the video right now, so <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter if I capture it with my Switch, because that's the magic of video. You can always go back to it. Wow, I can just kind of go in circles and uh, rack up the points here. Not really getting huge scores, but... Still doing pretty well on fuel. Um, I should go through and get all of the stars though, just uh, just to be safe, so that when I do start getting low, um, I can just head straight to the uh, the magical star goal. It's the sea! <laughs> I wonder if this game has appeared on any other platforms, or if this is a um, Switch exclusive. Like it feels like it might exist on like Japanese PCs or something, but um, you know, if it's a if it's a Switch exclusive, well, you know what to play once you finish Zelda. I mean, I guess, like, okay, so this... I'd hesitate to call this a good game, um, and recommend that anyone spend money on it. Um, I mean... But it's... I think it's interesting enough that, like, I'm feeling good about the 1,000 yen I spent on it. Um, it feels like something, like, I wanna... I wanna show people, like, I wanna get this video out there, I wanna... Um, you know, show people actually on my Switch. Um, it's almost like a like a like a Chouinuki type uh, experience. It's not necessarily something I'm I'd put 50 hours into or pay 60 dollars for, but it's a uh, you know it's got a it's got a lot of personality. That's for sure. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm just, I think I have enough. So I'm just gonna go right on through the magical gate here. Uh, let's see if that. Uh... Oh yeah! Now I can drive the magical train. I still can't go to the next level, but I can uh, drive the magical train. So let's take let's take the magical train out to the strange town. Oh my god! It is wonderful. I love the magical train. Let's see how it controls. It has really low handling, so this should be this should be interesting. Wow, she's not riding in the train. She's uh She is riding on that train. Is that train mounted? That is something else. This is really slow. This is a really slow train. It does not feel very magical. It feels a little pedestrian, to be honest. But I'm gonna finish this level on the train. Uh, magical turning. Again, not super magical. Her, mo her motorcycle is not as cool as my train. I'll be honest. That's a sweet uh, ninja motorcycle she has there. But uh, it's it's no train. Oh boy. Oh boy, it is no train. Um... Close to the ground here. Uh, Autobahn. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride the train on the road. Does this freak you out? Freaks me out. This soundtrack is perfect for this game. I, f I feel like it, it could also work really well with like a like a Katamari slash uh, psycho psycho soldier style like vocal theme. I think that could uh, that could work here as well. Um, I'm gonna go in this building here. I'm just gonna do it. Nope. I'm not. Wow. Oh my god. We are all popular. Well, that was cool. Um, you know, now that I feel, now that I rode the train, um, I feel like I, I feel like I was successful in room in the night sky. Um, so yeah, room in the night sky. Uh, that's what I just played. Um, Still trying to kind of wrap my head around it, uh, but it's. I think it's. I think it's a wonderful thing. I think it's. It's very good um, and wonderful um, in its own way, in its special way. Oh, credit. So we'll. Uh, made with the Nintendo Wear Basil Basil engine. That's interesting. Nintendo wear. I've not heard that term before. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah. Room in the Night Sky. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, 
You can follow me on Twitter at Braundwarf, B-R-A-W-N-D-W-A-R-F. Uh, also, you can check out our podcast on iTunes and the Google Play. and I think it's Google Play, whatever the Google store is, um, the Android store. And uh, you can check out our blog at NintendoFunClubPodcast.com. So thanks again for tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.